What does independence mean to me? Uh, are Africans that has liberated that island to make sure that the, the universe, let alone the enslavement market of government that was happening at that time, knew that there was an island that was free, it was liberated, and anybody who was enslavement at that time can come to it. To me, independence means uh, being Haitian, and that may sound a little weird to some. It's just that I was born and raised in Haiti, and Independence is something that is part of my DNA from a very young age. It's not until I came to America that I learned of a superficial independence. So I look at the world a little differently. Being free of the system, being free of everything that they impose on a human race to hold them down from growing naturally to being the beautiful culture or whatever it is to blossom as a flower. That's what independence means to me. Independence is what got me here. I'd say it's what got my family here and gave me the beautiful life that I have now. Haiti is definitely not unified right now. Uh, there's a lot of things. I mean, I don't think Haiti has been unified really since its inception. It's just been different philosophies on how to run the country, different, different philosophies and beliefs on what it is to truly be Haitian, different philosophies on who should be in power and who should not. Um, even today, we're like, um, our, the way our country is now, you know, we have, we have, we can say the word gangs, you know, I, some people might call them mercenaries. We just have a lot of violence going on in the country right now. And so Haiti is definitely not unified at this time. Going back to that word of pride and unity, um, Haitian people are strong-willed. Um, they are also driven. And while we all countries go through their trials and tribulation, and I just feel like right now, this is what we're going through, but at the end, I do see a light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, if I think about it in the context of Haiti, which is why I'm here, right? And I think about our people, unity is what got us through. It's what keeps getting us through. Um, our history, while beautiful, is sad consistently and even to this day and the way that other people look at us, but we're still strong. And I feel like being Haitian is something to be proud of and that is a result of that unity. We all feel that fierceness of what our ancestors went through. I think all Haitians are hopeful. I think that's what's carried us this far. Because if you look at a lot of the things that's happened in our history, and we keep, we're so resilient, you know, from coups to hurricanes to earthquakes to even the, the most recent assassination, like, we are still very prideful people and, and we do have hope. Well, I feel like in America, they control everything from what they want you to learn, what they want you to see, what they want you to experience when it comes to the culture, to the history and so forth. So even though people think that they're living in a world that they're free and they have independence, they don't. I remember when I was, I think I was 11 or 12, and I was in a history class and I kept on probing the teacher here in New York I'm like, why is your book missing this? Why is your history book missing that? Back home, my history book talks about this and this and that. Why don't you guys have that here in America? And she just looked at me like, little girl, shut up. <laughs> so I learned at a young age that, you know what? These people are not learning their full history. They're learning what they want to teach them. And so I became very discouraged to learn the history because I felt like it was being hand-fed to me selectively. And it's not until, and I know this is gonna sound cliche, but it's not until Obama was running for president and became president that a lot of the history that I felt was missing started to come out. And I was like, oh, well, here you go. <laughs> what else did I not learn at school? So yeah, that's how I look at independence. Independence means a lot. So I think, I think, I think, uh, I think my ancestors, I think the, my forefathers, for even saying that word, for liberating us, but um, independence is still to come for our country.